Insight Ceramics, here we are again. Today I'm going to be showing you how to create a pinch pot. And the pinch method is one of the most simple methods of working with clay. It's something that you've probably done since you were a little kid, and it's instinctually what we like to do with clay. Now if you're just starting with the clay and you have yet to open up your bag of clay, I want to give you some reminders. When you are working with clay, you only want to take out the clay that you're ready to work with because right now we want it to be this nice plastic stage. This is called stage two of clay. It's the plastic stage. It's very moldable. It's very workable. When you are not working with the clay, you really have to make sure that you keep it wrapped up. Make sure that everything is covered up. Otherwise, your clay will quickly turn into stage three, which is leather hard, and then it'll turn even harder than that. So what we wanna do first with our ball of clay is we wanna get it in a nice, even circle. To, we are gonna be making the pinch pot today. So I'm gonna start by getting a little rough with it and making it do what I want. Remember, you're the one who's in charge of this clay, so it's moldable. Whatever you want to do to it, you're going to get it done. So I started with a piece of clay that fit comfortably in my hand. It's probably, I would say, about the size, mine is about the size of a baseball. Okay, so what I'm going to do next, once I have it in this really uh, round ball, is I'm going to put it in my left hand like this, and I'm going to use my left hand as my molding area. And I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna press my thumb down into the ball of clay. I'm gonna try to get within about a half an inch to a quarter of an inch from the bottom. And so if you go too far, just start again, try again. And you're gonna take then and you're gonna wrap your fingers around this ball of clay. And then you're gonna pinch. You're gonna pinch your thumb between your um, fingers and that inside area, and you're gonna turn your ball of clay just ever so slightly in your hand. Now, I'm gonna to try to do this as evenly as possible, and you'll see I'm using my left hand as a base here, and I'm trying to pinch between the tip of my thumb and those fingers on the outside. And as I turn it, I'm just feeling the thickness and I'm going to do it evenly and slowly. What people find is is that they move if they move too fast their pinch pot is lumpy in areas and not in others. <laughs> it tends to get away from them. The key here is to keep moving it at a steady pace and now I'm pinching up into this area of my hand. So I'm continuing to move it and just gradually turn it. Pretty soon a form will start to emerge and it is a little cup form. I like to encourage students to do this with their eyes closed because I think sometimes we can be overwhelmed with all the um, other visual distractions while we're trying to do this. Maybe we're distracted by classmates, maybe we're distracted by Mrs. Pennock's crazy room and her stuffed chicken. Um, but if you close your eyes, you can really start to feel the thickness. And once I get up here to the top, I'm hoping that my bowl is about a quarter of an inch thick all the way around and it's pretty level. Okay, now I'm gonna feel, I'm gonna try to kind of pinch out those bigger areas so I can keep holding it in your hand. That's gonna give it this nice cup shape on the bottom. If you start to put it down onto our table, it's gonna flatten out the bottom and before you know it, you're gonna have something that maybe you like or maybe you don't like because it's not quite what you thought it was gonna be. So once I get it to this point, I 
you can start to feel where it's a little bit thicker in some areas and thinner in others. So I'm trying to make it consistent both sides. Now you'll notice up around the top here, I have some little cracks forming. That's okay. There's a couple different things you can do to get rid of those to make a nice uh, leaf formed lip. So what I would ultimately suggest is to just take your fingers and start to blend over those cracks, just using your thumb or your fingers. I'm trying not to affect it too much, the thickness here, as I pull over on some of those cracks. But you can see it starts to blend out pretty nicely. Now another way if you come up on this bowl and you're, the top of your bowl is all different heights, like you've got some parts that are maybe a half inch taller than other parts, you can uh, use a special tool from your kit. It is the needle tool. And the needle tool is made for cutting. It's a good one. So I'm going to set this down for just a moment. I'm going to grab my needle tool. And so how I would approach, like let's say, you know, I've got some really, it's a little uneven and I don't like it. So what I would do is I would take my needle tool and very lightly to start, just draw a little light line along that area where I plan on cutting. That way, if it doesn't look right, like, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. Here we go, right along there. That's where I want to cut. So then what I can do is I can move over that same spot a couple times and Voila! Now I have released that area and now it's nice and smooth. If you're dealing with super cracked clay, like let's say all of a sudden, like you've been working with this clay for a while, you're going to notice that it's going to start to dry out and maybe you don't like the looks of that. So if it you're at school or if you're at home and you have a squirt bottle, spray bottle, you can use that spray bottle to just lightly moisten that and get that back in shape. So I've got a little spray bottle here. So if I wanted to, looks like I had it set for get cat off the table mode, the steady stream. You want it to be more of a spray. Okay, and now I can shape, take a look at it. Remember, this is a three-dimensional object, so we want to look at it from all sides. We want to look at the outside, and now I might think about how I want to get it to stand, and I might flatten the bottom a little bit more. Uh, another thing you can do is you can add some cool um, designs to it on the outside. You can take your uh, smooth rib here and you can make those nice and smooth. I'm going to let you in on a little secret. When I like to smooth things out, believe it or not, I like to use a rib tool first. I like to get the rib tool on that, kind of like this. And I take that other rib tool. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Way smoother. It kind of gets rid of all those lumps. It takes that clay and moves it around the surface to really get rid of extra little finger lumps and that kind of thing. 
All right, so I have this beautiful little pinch pot right now. I'm gonna shape it up a little bit more. The longer it sits out, the stiffer it's going to become. There we go. That's your pinch pot building method.